We have a special guest star on the show very, representing very Black Rapid, <laughs> Mark. Hey, hi. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. All right, so I, I teed you up earlier. I yes. told you what I you like about my little... I, I might have teed you off, too. I told you what I like about my little think, ta think tank strap. Now we want to hear about Black Rapid, even though I've heard a lot about you guys, but I've never tried one, believe it or You've not. never tried one. I'm well, sorry. Okay. So basically what the strap does, it's, it's uh, the same system for all of straps, and you have the ability to hang the camera upside down at your hip. Okay. So the camera's not attached to the strap, though. It can glide along. So at any moment you want to take a picture, it's just that fast as far as taking a picture. So it's got a nice fluid motion. It's always at my side kind of thing. I, right. I, I ripped on the product the first time I saw yeah. it. I ripped on it. Then they saw it and said, thank you for ripping on our product. Why don't we send you one to play with? And they did. And my concern has always been hanging $8,000 worth of gear at one time off my hip. And then I tried it, and then I spun in circles, and I didn't have any issues. And I've gone to South by Southwest and given a bunch out and, and showed people that you can trust that it's going to work. You know, if you just follow what it does, put it on. And I got to say, the easiest thing, the best thing I like to say, I wish you guys would do a commercial about it. When you go, Which is? When, when, when you're at a wedding and you're a photographer and you have, say, a camera on your shoulder and you try to wash your hands after you go to the bathroom, <laughs> the, the camera kind of starts to slide off your shoulder. But when you have the black rapid on, you have two free hands because you don't have to worry about the camera hanging there because you know it's secure. You can now wash your hands or do whatever that else you're going to do. Actually, you mention that every time that I'm carrying my camera around, I do have that problem. You're trying to – what I do is I try – because – you. I'm pretty tall, too, so i got to lean down. I don't know if everybody right. does, but I have to lean down to wash my hands. So I put my camera right. I try and keep it on the small of my back, and I lean, and I go like this. Exactly. And, and then it, it swings and around it goes, and hits the porcelain. Like, Shit. $10,000. Oh, yeah. uh, Sorry. Yeah, okay, first I get it. <laughs> first well, he's time. doing something which I call the chicken, where you're trying to keep the strap up on your yeah, shoulder. Yeah, I've had that happen. Now, with ours, you can lock the camera down as well so that it doesn't move, so then you can bend over. And the camera will not swing it won't around. Swing forward. Yeah, will not swing. How forward. did you do that? There's a little. There's there's bumpers. We call them bumpers. Can you see that, Dave? Can you see that? So you got a bumper in the back, and you got a bumper in front, and you send the camera back to wherever you want it oh, to stay. Oh, so you could put both of them right beside oh, yeah. each other. It literally oh, yeah. won't move. Right next to each other. Do you have another strap under your arm? Yes. Well, this is the sport strap. So the sport strap's made for people who do extreme sports. So if you're riding a bicycle, rock climbing, doing anything where you're running with the camera. It just keeps the whole strap from rotating. So I can tighten this down. It's not going anywhere. It, you, it's my strap of choice is the yeah. RS Sport. It has the built-in, they call that a brad because yeah, it goes under your strap. pit. And it just stays there, uh, and it works no. well. But that's, Was that a joke? No, yeah. it's the truth. No, it's the truth. That's no, where the really came from. <laughs> Well, yeah, okay. that's, that's my go-to strap. Yeah. Uh, I, I've had this, the 7, which is still a great strap, because if you're a taller person, a larger person, and you need to get the extension, you got this thing called a BERT, and it extends it so that you could wear it. The, the RS Sport. Wait, what, why what is it I called forgetting? a BERT? Because, well, I'm not going to go into that. Because no. Burt Reynolds was a big strapping man? <laughs> no. Okay. If I told you where the name came from. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm not going to. Don't go <laughs> okay. All right, fair enough. Go there. Tell, tell us more about this. Um, well, we've got this, the, the straps basically will fit uh, anybody. You know, like you mentioned, we can extend it to fit very big people, but we have straps for women. We have straps for uh, sports. Yeah, we this have, one says, uh, this says women's ballistic. Yes, and that's the ballistic uh, one. I like the floral pattern one myself. Right. Well, so what's, why is it women's? Because it's oh, smaller? I, I got the answer for that. Yeah. I got the answer I'll for that. That's because it, it, it curves around this area. It's meant for women. It's really literally made it's, so that it, it will accommodate the female anatomy. That is exactly. correct. Exactly. That's the way you put it. I, I wasn't going to figure that one out. Okay. That was right. Let me see that. Try it on. See how it goes through the <laughs> chestal area. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'll try it on. Okay. I've tried it on. Well, okay, that's good. And what's this other one? It says curve. Okay, that, that is a very comfortable strap. So instead of being straight like some of the very first straps, 
This was made to give a little bit of a curve to it. Sits on oh, the so shoulder it's not nicely. Like Jabbing into your neck. Right. No. Nope. Exactly. And it can handle a lot of weight. So you can wear like a D4 or a one uh, one DX. I wore the D3S on that. Seventy to two hundred. Not a problem. Okay, I have an interesting problem for you. As soon as we get back from Photo Plus, I will literally be in town for 24 hours and I'm leaving to go to Mexico. Okay. I told one of our good friends who's getting married that I would play photographer for him at his wedding in Mexico. I am literally taking three DSLRs with me. I will have a 1D and two 5Ds that I will be shooting with and I don't know how to carry three cameras simultaneously, how would you do it? I can I can see you carrying two. Okay, <laughs> how, we okay. do have it. We do have a double strap, so you can carry two at once, and it's you look like a gunslinger. One under one under each arm. Yeah, yep. one under each arm. And so they're not flapping wildly in the wind. I slide exactly. the little clap. Again, you have back. you have the bumper system. And there is a very small strap that comes with it that helps pull the cameras back on you. So that they're pull, pull pulled, them like kind of behind yeah, me? Yeah, kind of back behind So they're you. not like sticking way out on my no, side? No, yeah. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's a really so. good way to carry. The first time I ever saw the double strap was during the uh, Stanley Cup finals a couple years back. Not that anybody knows what hockey is right now, being there on strike, <laughs> but I saw a guy wearing a double strap. He had two cameras. He had shot with one, put the other one back down, and you don't have to worry about it. So you have a 70 to 200 on one, and you have a 24 to 70 on the other, or a 14 to 24. So you're ready to go with two pro bodies and, and lenses at all times. Perfect for wedding photographers, because they're always trying to figure out what lenses to have on and when. Yeah, and you can't be switching lenses. You've got to be carrying them. No, I mean, you know, that's if all you're shooting to sports or you're shooting a wedding, you don't have time to drop a camera. You have to have both of them right there. Short lens wide angle, and then a telephoto. So what's, okay. what's coming up new from you guys? Um, I can't really talk about it, but uh, there are two brand new products that are coming out as of November 13th. They're and the then from there, a number of, we have 14 brand new products coming. 14? 14. Wow. You need my new address or what? Yes, we do. <laughs> okay, so I imagine as with everything, a lot of things like this, straps and bags and everything, there's a lot of individual preference. Um, you have to kind of try them on. Is there a way that people can experience one without I would, always... Yes, I would I mean? strongly I, suggest that, that people go to their nearest dealer. Uh, that's the best place to try on a strap and, and figure out which one fits what, what kind of shooting they do. Okay. And uh, are we going to do... Are we going to do some giveaways or something here? I hope so. Is that what you said? Uh, yeah, Jared? I think we're going to give some away. We just have to figure out how we're going to do it. I'm not just going to throw it at people. Well, we've got a ladies one there. A ladies and, and one. There's a lady right Wait, over there. Wait, is she eating popcorn? Oh, there's no, a she's lady not. right there. I think she wins the ladies one. Would you like this? See how easy that is? See? Here, I'm not going to throw it around the light. Here, I'm left-handed, so Dave will take care of it. There you go, Dave. Oh, and speaking of left-handed, we have a left-handed oh, sports don't, don't strap. Oh, don't even now. mention the left-handed <laughs> sports strap to me. <laughs> I'm left-handed, and 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 I'll stop talking about that right now. Um, right. What what kind of what kind of strap do you have on your camera back there? Just a regular one? That's a shame. That's, Would you like? Eh. Which one? Would you rather have a comfortable one? one or a sport one? Any one you give them. Uh oh, here it comes. There you go. You got the sport. <laughs> and then you're up for this one. Oh, well, I'm going to go, since you went to that side, yeah. I'm going to go the opposite side right here. This gentleman right here. Right by the lady who was. You're right there. <laughs> you, you, you. There you go. <laughs> there, there you go. go. Sweet. Because he's got a camera. Clearly, he needs a strap for it. That's true. That's so true. I, I, I love it. I, you know, I can't shoot without it anymore. As much as I ripped on it when I first got it. Well, you have been talking about Black Rapid seriously nonstop since we've been here. I, I think you've talked about it more than any other thing. That's because all I want is an RS Fro. Oh, well, I understand that. <laughs> Maybe that's one make of the 13 new <laughs> products coming out. Yeah. Okay, uh, Mark. Well, thank you thank so you. much. You're I got to get one of those uh, well, yeah, what, what does he double need to fisters. Do? You can, you can, you want, to, you want an, a double strap? Well, if I'm going to take it to Mexico, I guess I'd have to have one of those. I'm, I'm sure yeah, they just, could hook you up. We'll just get an address and get you one. No. Well, I, unless you can get it to me quick, I won't be able they to get, get it, it by Monday. Quick. Okay, cool. You're in Texas. They're in Seattle. 
That's the man right there with the address. You got it. You can figure that out. Thanks um, for coming on today. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thanks, thanks for, for coming on. And thanks, thanks for giving the, good, the goodies to uh, appease the audience. We appreciate that, too. Leor, can we get another?